Dust Dust. Test, test. <laughs> test. <laughs> test. <laughs> test. <laughs> test. Test. All right. Alright, so it looks like it's round seven. seven. Last round of Swiss. We have Mike Diaz playing against his brother, Frank Diaz. Oh, no? Uh, did you find out that they started already? I think, I think. Alright, alright, then go ahead, start. Alright, yeah, they're, they're both five and one. And they're both playing. I right, yep, they're all both playing Dark Rise. So it looks like Frank Diaz starts first and. From the starting Pokemon, it looks like it's going to be a Dark Ride Mirror. I'm not sure if they're playing the same list or not, but I would assume they would be. Probably somewhat similar, yeah. considering they're brothers and it's Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... So it looks like he starts off with a Dark Energy and a Dark Claw. Um, and an end. So he's probably going to be fishing for a Dark Ride to have on a bench. Yeah. Do you think he's going to go act on laughing over there. But do you think he's going to start going aggressive with like confuse rates to attach to Dark Claw? Or do you think he's going to get rid of it? I feel like it really just depends on what he gets from the end. If uh, if he gets anything like an Ultra Ball, a Dark Patch, um, he'll be in good shape. If not, I'm not sure if he'll have any other choice but to go for yeah. Dark Claw and, and be aggressive. And he'll throw in a knockout next turn for the laser. I mean, it's not like he would have any other choice. And, and his hand shows that Yell in their ear, that's what you gotta <laughs> do. <laughs> so it looks like he does get the dark ride from the end. He does a catcher and a hypnotoxic laser, so it looks like he's not going to be confused ring this turn. It looks like he's going to be doing a jump. Um, no, not yet. He just started. Um, probably the best outcome he could have gotten with that, um, except maybe like a dark patch or something. But it's probably not. Oh, did he did a confuser? Oh, um, that's kind of, kind of, uh, interesting. Um, I guess because of the lack of Burbank, he probably chose to do a confuser and it just be more aggressive. He probably still would have just went for a laser and, and a catcher and just gotten it back to my hand and not waste any resources. I mean, it puts hammers, it sets up the numbers for Dark Rise and Laser and Dark Ball, so they're on their night's fair. I mean, I feel like the one would be a little bit better. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess that's just preference. Um, both 140 and 170 are good numbers, just because Dark Rise can reach um, 
140s and 30s so easily. You know, that Burbank is around with Dark Claws and Hypnotoxic Music. Do you guys even like the music, or we can just turn yeah, it? Just turn it off. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, um, right now his dark eyes is asleep, which is um, it's pretty big. It's a big thing. Um, maybe in the beginning not so much, but um, still kind of annoying because you can't be aggressive if you had the opportunity yeah, without a Keldeo. Um, I don't know. Um, probably not. Um, I think he's probably just going to go for um a John Comp. I don't think he hit the energy discard in the beginning. Yeah. Um, but it's good. He can still get resources back. So I guess in the end of it, um, it all worked out okay. Anyway, eventually he got the John Comp and conserved the resources that he needed. Yeah, and he put some damage on. Made it a little easier to knock out. And yeah, so but it's thing, less thing to knock out the dark guy. This, al but this also is, like you said, really big because um. Now Michael has the opportunity to become the first aggressor yeah, in the matchup. Yeah, the first night spear. Yeah. And then Frank has two stabilizes on deck, so, well, it's not going to be a point where he's going to need six, seven prizes. Both yeah. stabilizes and prizes on the deck. Um, I mean, in a sense, um, it m might be seen as necessary just because um, it may come to a point where. Yeah. You just need to yeah. use um, Sableye that many times. In the mirror, um, sometimes an N just makes all the difference. Yeah, with laser in the format, Sableye's become you know, more of a thing you use more than once. You see more Sableye's come down. It's usually like in the very beginning and yeah. near the late game, yeah. just so you can recover. Yeah. So um, we're right now um, kind of seeing uh, repeat of what his brother just did yeah, um, resources back. which um we see that um mike plays a max version that's gonna be really huge too i mean i'm i mean frank could just as much play max version as well so um it's just, it just comes out of how, how timely it is yeah it's just depending on how well um those junipers come out and whether you have to discard those max potions or use them earlier than usual yeah. um and also who's just more aggressive and um, a better aggressor in this matchup. And it, it could also help, you know, knocking off that damage he did earlier with the Confuse Ray and the Poison. That's true, it did set up the 40 um, in order for you to get that, um, the Dark Ride knockout at one point in the game. Um, that's very key. So it looks like they're just playing the setup game right now. Um, conserve resources while um, making it difficult for the opponent to get their Dark Rye set up. Yeah, catch the Dark Rye with no energy, forcing the attach one. So you could, uh, you would need energy switch. It just makes them use more resources just to get, to get, get that turn. Dark Rye out. Um, what's also kind of important to see is um, what A specs they use because um, that also can make a big difference as to which a Dark Rye deck comes out on top. Um, there's a lot of very good aspects out now that we have um, Dowsing Machine and Computer Search. We have Dow and Dowsing Machine, Computer Search, Scramble Switch. We have Dow and Gold Potion. Yeah, yeah there's like a lot of them, and it's kind of hard to tell which one is on, like, is going to be the better one. Um, we see a Chorus. That's pretty good for seven. Um, anything six and above is really solid for a Chorus. Yeah. Um, and you're drawing the same amount of Juniper without this, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, you're, just, you're drawing the same amount as you would be Juniper without this, you know, wasting the resources. Yeah, um, it's kind of risky to play that card just because in the beginning it's kind yeah, of it's not it's not really as yeah, and it kind of um 
puts you in jeopardy of uh, setting up at all. But the payoff in the end is really, really worth it. So um, a lot of people tend to play one or at least two, two or at least one in a deck. Um, it's a good success. Uh, he's going to get the 90. Um, a Sableye might not be so... Yeah, it might not be the first big yeah. nice because he might not ever bench for a Sableye. He might not ever get, you know, a chance to knock out a one five for one again. I mean, it, it could be important if um, Frankie at any time in the near future gets an N out because then it'll make Michael um, a little bit more difficult to uh, recover without the Sableye on the board. Yeah. He'll have to fish for that card as well. Um, so you can tell that there's that good and the bad to it. Um, but also, it also takes the energy off the board too. That's true. Um, and Dark Ride, regardless of his dark patches and whatnot, still needs three energies yeah. to hit. Um, you want all that energy on and sometimes you just can't get it. Uh, we also see um, that Frank has uh, played a Keldeo EX, which um, w once Keldeo has been released, uh, it's really been a good resource to use instead of playing four switches. Um, it condenses the amount of spaces yeah. in the deck, um, and Dark Rise Power um, has allowed it to give it like a sense of like a switch or a free retreat without um, having to look for the card from the deck the yeah but not only that but it just stays on the yeah. field and we see an a spec um that was, a machine. that was a machine which a lot of people have been using over computer search because of its late game strength over its uh begin game strength yeah. so it's another way to get back resources and without using Sableye. yes um it's very important to get those fifth copies of cards that um are already so powerful to begin with like uh hypnotoxic catcher dark patch all those things that a dark ride deck could just use whenever it needs to. Another strength of it is it can get back stadium, so it helps win the stadium more. And supporters, so whenever you get in tough bind, um, Dazen Machine also becomes that fifth and fifth Juniper, um, that extra Bianca if they play it, um, Skylar, uh, and also if they play Skylar, Skylar would go into a Dazen Machine, which will go into even more resources. So it just shows how flexible that card can really be as an alternative aspect to the usual computer search we used to see um, when last set was released. Yes, he's gonna get the first important night spear, and he gets the full effect of it through um, uh, Verbank and uh, Laser. Um. Now we were talking about how good Keldeo is, but also it's uh, kind of like a double-edged sword because it's uh, 170 HP. So it sets a perfect number for that guy. I mean, that's kind of the risk um, any player has to take when um, playing the Keldeo. Um, you had to realize that it has the 170, so a nice spear. 30 hit bench and then catching it out and doing the dark claw with the laser it's just gonna knock it out yeah. very easily um but it's more so a necessity than anything just because of what it can do for the deck and that was his own um verbank i mean hypnotoxic laser that uh frank pulled out Um, so it looks like uh, Frank has 120 on him. Uh, if he's obviously going to use the Keldeo to get out of that, um, because it'll just cause a world of problems. It'll allow it for, like if he anything to knock it out. Yeah, a poison, a laser will knock it out. A poison laser without like a saber light junk hunting while letting the laser yeah, do the job. That's so devastating. They just get knocked out while someone's just getting back resources. Just, uh, just that combo of doing 30 extra damage. It's like three plus powers combined yeah. into one card. Attack. And you don't have to attack. Um, so it just shows how um, vicious that card really is. Yeah, a combination of Verbank and Laser is just something that just plagues this format now. Yes, but I also believe that um, Dark Rye is probably the deck that utilizes it best just because um, it uses it more than the usual four times that every other deck can yeah. use it because of Sableye's ability to just get yeah. anything back. And then just makes, makes Dark Rye numbers so much better. The Dark Ride deck is already one of the top tier decks before the laser came out. Um, it just gets better. It just got better just because of the fact that the magic numbers that it really couldn't hit 
um, it just reached with the help of laser. Um, Blastoise used to be a problem for it because of the 140 kill deal because of the 170, but now it can just reach those numbers so much more easily with the laser and the dark claws and sniping for 30s and um, even <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> and we see the brothers slapping each other. We see a little ag family aggression from these <laughs> two brothers. Um, I'm not sure if it's safe here commentary. <laughs> I feel a little threatened. <laughs> it's a very friendly game. They're both brothers. They're both going to be in top cut regardless. Most likely. I would say most they're likely. Yeah. Um, they're both five and one right now. Yes. So I think m most X and twos make it. Um, yeah. You still want to relieve that stress. Yeah. Of seeding kind of does matter. You know, you want to avoid certain matchups. You know, seeding does come into place in there. Um, usually, if you face if. I mean, it kind of depends. If you face, if you have the top seed, um, it seemingly is better to face the bottom seed. Yeah, because they just sweep them. The deck probably isn't as consistent. Yes, but it also can mean that those are the decks that are probably the techiest because yeah. of the fact that um, they barely squeaked in, but they probably try to fit a whole bunch of stuff in their deck to have a broader range of uh, counters for the metagame. So you can a really scary thing, but at the same time, it could be one of those clean clang decks. Yes, it so could that's, be. That's one of the matchups you, don't, you really don't want to An anti-meta deck like a clean clang or a garbador that um, sometimes you'll have trouble with, and sometimes it'll just be pretty easy for you to overcome. Um, Nigga, don't lie. So you catch it up to Caldeo, and then you laser it, you try to keep it, you know, asleep, but you ultimately you don't get the heads on the laser flip. Um, yeah, a lot of people have to realize that um, Keldeo is a hard counter to the laser, and even when targeting the Keldeo to try to negate that, you still only have a 25% chance yeah. of getting out of that. You have to flip for the laser, and then flip, and for, then them. flip yeah. for them to get out of the sleep. So as much as it's a... Um, very powerful card. It's not an impossible card to yeah. get around. It's very, a lot of games are very frustrating, you know, not being able to wake up. But this card is in the format and get to deal with it. Yeah, it's um, it just makes the format so much more faster than it already was. Um, things that were already turn one are like even more turn one than before. Um, so it's not a, a rare thing to see a turn one hitting, like a Pokemon hitting for sixty. Turn one hitting f uh, Pokemon that used to hit for 60 are now hitting for 90. Um, and Sableye can now hit for 60 turn one. With yeah. A combination of Dark Claw and Laser. Just even even Sableye junk hunting yeah. to save his resources while hitting for 30 damage is just so such a powerful start that it's um, evident to see why Dark Rise Sableye is um, one of the top decks right now. Continuously after the new set. Okay, um, so Frank, Frank Diaz has three prizes left, as you can't see on the screen, but he has three prizes left. So Mike Diaz is five. Okay, so, um... Is that five? I'm pretty... No, it looks like that. He has six. Six, okay. Yeah. So, Frank Diaz is, um, ahead of the game by one and a half EXs, um... And I put it in that sense just because EXs are the big thing you're gonna have to take down anyway. Yeah, I mean, as, as long as um Michael Diaz tries not to bench Sableye, then um gonna have to hit he's gonna have to hit the two Dark Rise to death, and um Dark Rise itself is no easy task to get down to zero HP. Um, yes, but I think it's a good tactic just because it forces, yeah, it forces Michael catchers. to get the catches out, even to 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 be forced to throw down the saber line so he can reuse any catches he may have left. But it's also scary because he could be playing Max Potion. That's true. They have similar lists, so um, Max Potion could be one of those cards that is hiding in Frank's deck, and he's probably just pulling them away to wait for those Max Potions to come out. Yeah, 
Quick energy switch, so I can just move the energy off and then max it. Yes, and we still, I don't believe, have seen um, Frank's A spec yet. So it could be a card like Scramble Switch, which does the same thing as a uh, energy switch to a greater effect, and then use a max potion to get rid of all the damage. It could even be gold potion. It could be gold potion, in which case you don't even have to go through all those steps. You could just heal for 90, which is a good chunk of life. Especially versus Darkrai. Especially in the mirror where, where 90 is the base damage yeah. that a Darkrai usually does without any help. We see another laser. <laughs> and you got heads on it. Michael's uh, Michael's dark ride is gonna be poisoned and asleep. Now, if he gets tails on this, and a kill deal doesn't come out to save him, he's going to be in trouble. But luckily, he gets heads. So he didn't get the nice spear. That, um, really that, I that is pretty big, only because it allows Michael a little bit more yeah. breathing time to just recover or catch up. Yeah, he has an opportunity to come right back into this game. Um, he's still probably going to need a little bit more than that, yeah. but it's an every little bit yeah, every little is going to help at this moment where um, Frank has almost three Dark Rides pumped up against um, Michael's barely one. Yeah, I like how Michael is doing. He's uh, pretty much getting in. A better time this game. He's kept targeting down the Keldia, which will then make his laser flips more ideal. So he can keep him asleep and then buy himself more turns. Yes, I think um, if a Keldia is out, then it just becomes the only target for the laser because anything else is just going to be saved by the Keldia rushing in and then rushing right back out. Um, so you're kind of forced to be put in that situation. But like you said earlier, um, because Keldio has 170 HP, it hits those magic numbers. So Dark Ride to KO it easily, which could be the key to um, Michael coming back from this game. Oh yes, that's true. Like he's probably setting up for a four, four hit knockout. I mean, a four prize knockout for two EXs, um, which deters uh, a, a late game M, a late gain, game M. You'd be able to take you know first two prizes and then end the game. Four prizes, four prizes. Right or just take four prizes at one bat, leaving himself at two, and even though he's susceptible and be able to take a good enough board position to complete the game successfully. And I mean, and this time you can just, you know, get rid of the stuff that he doesn't want to game and, you know, prepare for that. And prepare game. that end so that if, if exactly. he does get hit by it, he'll get a higher likelihood of pulling a Juniper or, or use the support something, something the better out. than an end. You don't get the two prizes because the poison kills it. Oh. Well, so the dark ride, yeah, give dark ride prize. 30 HP left. So if Frank gets a catcher, he can just kill that dark ride off from the bench. And he'll be in almost an unrecoverable position. Yeah. Um, I would say even winning the game at that point. Yeah. That would effectively just do it because the dark would have too much damage, and even he wouldn't even have to, you know, hit it from the active position. <laughs> the old school energy search. <laughs> energy search, um, whichever picture you use is very helpful in this deck. Um, <laughs> it allows, I don't know if they play Skyla, but if they do, um, it allows Skyla to get an energy. Um, it also lets say might be able to junk up for it. We use it over and over again, which is key um, just for start having successful starts with this match, or in any match. I just want to say shout out to the niggas that stole my fucking blueberry muffin. I had to go back to Dunkin' Donuts and say, buy another one. Fucking asshole. <laughs> so it looks like um, 
someone stole Brian Garcia's blueberry muffin. Um, so whoever stole Brian Garcia's blueberry muffin, that's um, shame. Shame on him. That's deplorable. <laughs> that's very deplorable. Who would steal somebody else's blueberry muffin anyway? Anyway, back to the match. Um, it looks like um, he did KO the dark guy. I know he did not have to get to that. Was huge. So now it's um, dark so one to three prize game. Um, he got counter KO'd himself. Um, and it's a very fragile situation because he could still take a four prize swing in two nights for years. Um, if yeah, he needs to also survive a hit, I don't know how much damage it looks like. It's gonna be around. 90 damage probably um, it's hard to tell but if, if it's anywhere around that 80 90 100 damage range oh, you see the dark dark man's bench has a dark ball so he needs to <laughs> I think he realizes at this point that yeah. um, if his dark right takes a hit then a sable I can take it as well um, and He's just gonna go. He's gonna probably end search for stuff and hope his brother doesn't have an answer to a one card end. A very risky play, but at this point, I don't think he has any uh, options. Yeah, he, really, he can't even. He doesn't have the energy of Nightspear. He needs to search for that energy. Um, I'm not even sure if he has any energy left. His uh, pretty thin. That's true. He might not have. Um, Frank Diaz has the one prize left, and uh, Michael has three prizes left. Oh, or four. four oh, okay. So he has four prizes left. Um, that makes it slightly harder. No, I was like. <laughs> and he gets a juniper. Um, it's probably the worst case scenario. Yeah. Um, like you gotta believe he gets a catcher, and, and there, there it is. is. That's the game. Frankie is beats his younger brother Mike. Um, to six and one. So players probably be in top cut though. Most likely. Um. It just shows you that the Dark Rye matchup. Um, that first Night Spear. That first Night Spear is so crucial. Yeah. It depends which Dark Rye dies first. It's even even though it had to kill the same, the 30 damage does matter to you. It do that did matter at the end of it, and I didn't think it would. So it just goes to show you that even the littlest amount of damage, like 30 or 40, is just going to add up. Dark so Rye, yeah, Dark Rye just adds up damage so easily. For Bank and Laser, it just makes it so. Dark Rye just. That combination. It threatens everything. It dark, Burbank, Hypnotoxic, 30 damage, whenever you want, however you want, no attack. And Dark Rye uses it to its fullest potential, so. Yeah. You can retrieve the lasers. It just, it's so powerful. It's, it's very fa ag aggressive. It's very fast. It's just. Not many decks can actually answer a, a turn turn two Night Spear. I don't, it's. God forbid a turn one. Yeah, not even a turn one Night Spear. I mean, but I feel like now. The turn one nice spear is not as necessary as it used to be. Um, yeah. Turn one nice spear. Turn two is enough to just. Turn two is enough as long as the Burbank and the Hypnotoxic. Yeah. It's played the turn before. Get that 30 on the board. Get the coin flip heads and. And, you know. So. Yeah. Um, That's it for the Swiss rounds. We're about to start the top cut. Pranks probably be up after, you know, within 20 minutes probably.